Welcome everyone, here is how you get rid of iOS 16. So it really is important to understand, are you trying to get rid of iOS 16 beta and upgrade to iOS 16 official, or are you trying to downgrade iOS 16 back to iOS 15, okay? If you're trying to remove the iOS 16 beta and go back to the official version, what you do is you open up settings, you then find general, you're then gonna find VPN and device management, and you should see an iOS 16 beta profile here. If you don't, that's okay. If you do, tap on the profile and remove it off of your iPhone. Then you go to software update and you should see iOS 16 show up right here. If it does not show up, one or two things have happened. The first is the beta iOS 16 firmware you were on is newer than the last public release. So for example, iOS 16 releases to the general public tomorrow, okay, September tw uh, 12th, but on September 11th, I'm on iOS 16 RC. They are the same firmware, so you're not gonna see a new iOS 16 show up. If you're in, for example, iOS 16.1 beta 5 random version, and iOS 16.1 has not released to the general public, you will not see an older version of iOS 16 show up because this software update area only allows you to update the software and not downgrade, okay? So if that's the case, you just need to wait for new iOS 16 to drop and then update. If you would like to get rid of iOS 16 and go back to iOS 15, keep on watching, you will need a computer and I'll show you the next steps on the computer itself. Now, move to the computer. You're gonna need to head over to the iTunes website if you have a Windows computer, Macs already have iTunes built in. Once you're here, you can choose to get it from Microsoft, but what I recommend to save time, you'll see here, looking for other versions, click on Windows and then click on download iTunes for Windows Now 64 bit. Then we need the iOS 15 firmware file. So go to the next link in the description and then select your device. So I have iPhone 8 Plus, so I'll click on iPhone. I'll close out this ad and then I'll find where it says 8 Plus. So you can see it, iPhone 8 Plus. You can see sometimes there is GSM and Global. Just choose whichever one you would like. And then if the firmware file uh, isn't working on your device, just choose the alternative one. All right, let's click into this one here and we see signed IPSW. So just choose the firmware file with the tick here. So we'll click into this one. And then you see the download, click on the blue download. All right, I've already downloaded this, so I'm gonna cancel it. And so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna either open up iTunes on the Windows computer or on the Mac, you're gonna load up the Finder. Then I want you to connect your iPhone or iPad to the computer, so use your charging cable. On the iPhone itself or the iPad, go to the home screen. It may ask you to trust the connection between the device and the computer. If it does, just click on the trust button on the phone. Then you should see an icon with your iPhone. So an iTunes is up here where the uh, cursor is, our uh, Mac is here. So click into it and you should see your device. So give it a couple of seconds for this to load. You will see check for updates and restore iPhone. Because iOS 16 introduces the new lock screen, we cannot use the old way of doing a fast downgrade. Instead, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to back up our data first. So when you open up iTunes or Finder, it will do a backup. However, it doesn't save to the computer half the time. So don't take any risks uh, with your data. You're gonna see here backups. Click on backup all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac or Windows. And then you'll see here backup now. Click on backup now and wait for this backup to complete. Once the backup is finished, now we need to uh, flash the firmware file we downloaded earlier. So how do we do that? Let's uh, slide up until you see here, check for update and restore iPhone. Do not use the check for update button. Your iPhone will boot loop if you use it. Instead, don't just uh, left click restore iPhone, do the following. So I'm gonna put on screen what you should be doing. So on the windows, hold down the shift key, do not release. Okay, so releases like this, just click, uh, click and hold shift key and then left click on your mouse or your trackpad the restore iPhone, okay? So hover the mouse over restore iPhone, then left click. Now on Mac, you do the same, but instead of using shift, you're gonna use option, hold down option, and then left click restore iPhone. So we're gonna do that three, two, one, left click, and it says find my, must be turned off. So I'm gonna have to turn that one off now. So in order to do that, you just go into settings, and then you see your name here, tap on it, 
So I'm just going to uh, go down like this. You'll see Find My, tap on the Find My, and then Find My iPhone, tap on it, and turn this one off. Find My iPhone is disabled, so repeat the last step. And this time, boom. So you're going to see the file manager. Now for you, the download is most likely in the downloads folder. For me, it's on my external SSD. I'm going to find it right here. Boom. And then I'm just going to click on open. And once we've done this, you're going to see your Mac or Windows will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 15 and verify the restore. So click on the restore here. And just like that, the downgrade is going to do its thing. This will take a while. I'm going to cut to once I'm done. Okay, the downgrade has completed. If you look at the iPhone or iPad, you'll be on the hello screen. Uh, we now need to modify the backup so that it will run on the older iOS 15 firmware. So in order to do this, I'm going to have this link in the description. It will bring you to the Apple support page. We need to access the backup folder on our computer, whether that's the Windows or Mac. So you're going to see search for backup folder on your Mac and also search for backup folder on Windows 8 or this also does work on Windows 7, just keep that one in mind. However, instead of using the search bar, just hold down Windows and up. So you need to follow these on-screen instructions. If you have Windows, I have a Mac, so I'm just going to show you these instructions live. So you see here, click the magnifying button and then copy and paste. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the finder. Now we'll just click on search, paste, and we'll just give it a couple of seconds or minutes okay so we now are in the backup folder but you're going to notice i have multiple folders here if you have one just click on the one folder if you don't have one and you have multiple how do we know which backup is our device well it's very simple so windows there should be a button which says date modified you just want to filter by date modified in my situation i'm going to change uh, the view to as a list and then you can see the date modified here so you just want to find the one which has the most recent date modified. Of course, if you created other backups, then, you know, different situation for you. But I created one and you can see here today it's 1024, uh, 34 even, and it's currently 1051. So this is the backup I want. I'm going to double click into this one. And I'm going to scroll down until we see here info.plist. You just want to open this up with any text editor. Okay, so just find a text editor. Boom. And once we're in the text editor on Windows, you may not see uh, this, you know, as pretty as I do. It may look a bit glitchy. What you're going to do is you're going to find edit and then you're going to find find right here. And you just want to search up for 16.0 and then you're going to click on enter. And you're going to see here product version 16.0. You may not see the product version, but you should be brought to 16.0 at the very least. And you're going to change this to 15.0, just like that. Okay. And once you've done this, click on the file and then click on save. Now, of course, if you're watching on Windows, the process to find the stuff may be slightly different, but just find 16.0, change it to 15.0 and then save the file. Once we've done this, we can go back into Finder or iTunes. Click on your iPhone or iPad. It's now going to run the activation. And then you're going to see here, restore from this backup. Just select the backup and click on continue. Because we modified the backup, we do not need to worry about, uh, you know, any errors showing up. Now the backup will restore and we just got to wait for it to finish. Okay, the restore for the backup has finished. So you do not need to have your iPhone or iPad plugged into the computer. The computer is not required anymore. So I'll move back to my regular setup and let's take a look what happens next. So on the device itself, you're going to see this progress bar here. You don't need to do anything on your end. Just wait for it to finish. Okay, now we are brought to the hello screen. So we're going to see restore completed. You tap on continue and you just need to follow the on-screen instructions uh, to get to the home screen. There we go. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. And just like that, the downgrade was successful. So let's verify. If I go to settings, general, and about, you can see iOS 15.5. So the downgrade did work. No issues. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.